Hey, what is up everybody? My name is Thompson. Welcome to another episode of Let's Play Banjo Kazooie Nuts and Bolts. In the last episode, we did a one hour special. And we did pretty much all of Nutty Acres Act 6 or 5, 1 to 2. And in today's episode, we're going to be doing a Grunty Boss Battle. But first, I want to check this. Yes, we've done Jigga See Him. Act 3. So, I believe we're going to do the Grunty Boss Battle. So, I can't remember which one this is. I think... If it's what I'm thinking it is, then this one's not a difficult one. But there's like two in the Jigga See Him. And I can't remember which one this is. So, we're going to find out in just a moment. So yeah. Also, I just want to say, if there's like any cuts in this episode, it's probably because I have to turn off my um, Xbox and turn it back on, because there's something going on with my HDMI right now. I don't know what it is. So, yeah. Alright. Anyway. So, this is the water level. Oh, I know which one this is. Oh, I know which one this is. Okay. Okay. If I remember correctly, this one's decent. It, if I remember correctly, this one isn't like too difficult, but it's not easy at the same time. So, yeah. I'm thinking for this one, we might use the copter. And I know what you're thinking. Why the copter? But if it's one thing and it is, you'll see why the copter could be the best one. So, yeah. Alright. You ready to talk to Grunty? We won't skip this text because it's important. Alright. What are you got to say for yourself, Grunty? Let's have a look. Alright. Water Polo finds the spots and never lose to a bear in shorts. I mean, you have lost to us a lot of times in the past, just saying. I won't be so cocky. I scored all these goals on my first try. Beat that, you can... Something. All those balls and you won't come close, just try it and you'll end up... Something. It doesn't give me enough time to read it. Alright, let's see. Grunny's flooded to Jigga Seam and refuses to leave until she has been bested at water polo. She's a floating water vehicle and whack balls through the reef... Theme got. How do you say it? Reef? Ref? Reef? I have no idea. Alright. So, if this is actually what I'm thinking it is, we're going to want to use the sticky ball. Because, if this is what I'm thinking it is, what we've got to do is we've got to basically get the balls and put it in the goal. And like I said, if this is what I'm thinking it is, all we need to do then is just swoop down and grab the ball. It's not how we do it. Oh my god, we can do it! Ah, I've never done this before! I've always done this the way it was supposed to be done. <laughs> Seriously. Until you get the sticky bot legit. This is so overpowered. Oh my god. Because we're not supposed to be able to do this yet. Because um, we're not technically supposed to have the sticky ball. Oh, this is awesome. <laughs> this is so overpowered. Alright, so we're done, there we go, two balls, nice, put it in the goal. Oh my god, we're going to get the trophy so easy on this one. Oh, this is amazing. I know that I'm not really doing it the way you're supposed to do, I know, but I never claim to do stuff on this channel the way you're supposed to do it. Like, I'll typically do it if I can, like you're supposed to do it, but if there's a way I can exploit some of it, if there's a way I can just... Do something the way you're not supposed to do. What the? What? Uh, uh, what? What the hell? What? Did I just see that right? Did Grunty just do a John Cena and jump? Wait, um, what? I don't remember her doing that. Okay, that. I'm not even going to lie, that's actually mildly intimidated. I ain't even going to lie. Alright. Um. Okay. I want to try and get the trophy on this one. So, yeah. Like, if you don't know, the trick with this one is Grunty has, like, kind of a... She has, like, spikes on a vehicle, which basically pops the ball if she touches it. So... That's what makes this mission difficult. Like, on first climb, you'd think, you know, this mission is very easy, you know, like, there's no possible way to fail it. Like, she just got to get four balls in, but that's the twist with it. She can pop the ball um, if she gets near you, and she's decently fast at it, so, yeah, don't be thinking that, yo, this is easy, bro. Like, I can easily do this. You know, because she does evidently pop the ball really easily. 
Um, like, wait, why can't I access the sticky ball? The sticky ball's broken. Oh, what? Okay, that was weird. Um, I don't know why the sticky ball just randomly disappeared. I get it. All right, we didn't get the trophy. Damn it! We're not gonna get the trophy. Oh boy, and here's I'm saying like, oh, we're gonna get the sticky, like the trophy so easily. Yeah, yeah, that's not. I've gotta stop saying it. Oh, whatever. We didn't need the trophy because we got ourselves the G. And that's the main one we need. Alright, you beat me again. You won't change a thing. The loss of one Jiggy is barely a sting. Ooh, that's... Oh, it's not what I was wanting. Oh, if I was something different. Oh, where do I get the item that I'm thinking of then? No, I think it's still in the Jiggy Seam. Alright, we got the Scuba Suit. Um, more or less what this does is it'll allow us to breathe underwater, like, we won't drown at all. Eh, it's alright, it's not that, it's not that awesome, but, eh, it's alright, I suppose. Not really that cool, though. I mean, because it's literally just a suit that lets us breathe underwater as long as we want, like, the thing is, though, like, nobody really goes underwater that often, you know, it, it's not that great, just saying. Um, but we got ourselves a jiggy anyway. There aren't notes in here, but I'll get that off camera. Yeah, oh, ooh, there's um, what's he called? A jinjo. Eh, we might as well do him. Why are you? You are a jinjo fetch. A jinjo fetch. Which one was this? A jinjo fetch challenge. List. Listen to the description. Find the lost item and bring it back. Oh, it's that one. Okay. All right. So um, this is called jinjo fetch, and more or less what you've got to do. Is you've got to look for the item that it's looking for. Now this guy wants. Well, it doesn't say. I think it said a carrot, but I can't remember. But yeah, you've got to find his misplaced item, and then you've got to bring it back. Problem is though, it doesn't tell you where it is or what you're even looking for. Um, it doesn't give you an indication. It doesn't say like, oh, I'm looking for this, or you know, you can find it near here. I'm gonna take a shot in the dark and say this is it. Um, I think if you find it and then grab onto it, it'll say like, oh yeah, that's the item I'm missing, but I think for the most part it doesn't. I'm going to take a shot in the dark though and say this whale is his. Let's have a try. So let's pick it up. I don't know. Does it actually say? Like, normally it says if you've got it, so I don't think this whale were his. Is this your whale, sir? Did you lose a whale? Uh, no. Well, you can have it. You can have a whale. Is that? I don't know why you'd want a whale. All right. <laughs> okay, but yeah, it doesn't give you an indication on where it is. So I don't know. Maybe it's in the water. I don't know. It doesn't say. It doesn't say where. Like it doesn't even say what it is. You know. But yeah, it doesn't even have like a mini map to say like, well, this is what you're looking for, or um, or you know, it's right here. I don't know, I just, I'm not a big fan of this one. Um, I don't even tell the show where this is. really don't. I'm actually having a think, right? I'm going to quit the challenge for now, but I'm thinking maybe we could do a thing where we do one episode dedicated to doing the Jinjo missions. How does that sound? I've got a video, like, Jinjo theme ones, if you know what I mean. Like, I've got a video dedicated to the Jinjo soon coming. Um, I'm just going to do some research on it before I record it because I want to I need to know where it's found so Yeah, but I have an idea for a video. So yeah, okay, so almost 10 minutes in jeez How are we almost at 10 minutes? How did that grunty battle take us 10 minutes? Like I don't even know <laughs> it's best not to question it at this point But yeah, all right, so, so far the HDMI is staying which is good I don't know, it was just, it was going absolutely crazy before recording, like, I had to do a lot of stuff just to get it working again. Alright, anyway, what's he say? Another victory. Impressive. I've upgraded your trolley with Grintilda's very useful scuba suit. It's like you dive on the water without drowning and bypassed any relevant restrictions that you may have encountered around town. So yes, um, now, if you remember, there was a vehicle part, uh, the 50th vehicle part. We can now get that. You know the one where I was talking about where it was like, um, uh, we can slip through the little jail thing. 
and I feel like it wasn't intended to do it, but now we can actually get through that, so I think we might go and get that because if I remember correctly, I could be wrong, but if I remember correctly, it's a good item and we want it. So, alright, don't you even dare, bro. No, don't do it. Seriously. Like, I'll just, I'll wrench your car to death. Does that even make sense? I don't even know. But like, I'll do what I must to get this jiggy to town. Like, we're not even doing anything wrong. We was literally assigned to do this, you know? So we're not even doing anything that we're supposed to not be doing. Hey, perfect landing. Although I landed in that post, so. Yeah, all right. Let's see if we unlock anything else. I think we get something in like two more jiggies. Um, oh, never mind. What do we got? <gasps> oh, yes. Oh, we got a final area of the game. Well, except for Sparrow Mountain. I'm afraid that we're going next. The game globe has been dispensed from my factory, so collect it soon and carry it to the plimp. Okay. Let me explain some about the terrain of terror. I suck at this place. I typically cannot do the terrain of terror for the life of me. I struggle at the jiggies, I struggle at getting more or less anything in there. So, I'm going to be doing a lot of research on that place. We're not going to be going for it for a few episodes now, but I'm going to do some research on it before we actually do it because, quite frankly, I do struggle at it. I really do. It's something that it doesn't seem like difficult, but I don't know why I just can't do it for the life of me. So, yeah, that's what we're going to do. Alright, test to test the scuba suit. So, yeah. Alright, so if we just deflate that, we can go underneath the water. Now, you see, there is no more... A meter to say like hey you're running out of oxygen get out of there because it is no longer existent so it, it like yes like I said it is cool but it's not really that necessary because if you remember we got under here and we swam it and we didn't drown so it's not exactly like we're gonna be struggling so yeah all right um I do, however, do not remember where <laughs> to get in the entrance. Uh, you know where we swam, so this is gonna be it's gonna be fun. I feel like I'm gonna have to look for this and then cut because I generally don't remember how to get in here. Yeah, although I'll show you an example, I suppose, like on what we can do. Although we're nowhere near it, so actually, I don't know. Um, yeah. You know, let me go look for this and I'll, yeah, let me go look and I'll be right back. Almost instantly after I decide to cut, I found it. Alright, so now that we can dive in the water, yeah, that goes down. I was, I was wondering why it took so long for it to recognize, but yeah. We can now go down here because now that we've got the little seat thing, um, it'll be like, yeah, you won't drown, so there you go. You can, uh, you can never pass. He's like the anti-Gandalf. Instead of saying, you shall not pass, he says, you shall pass. Is it Gandalf that says that, or is it Dumbledore? I don't remember which is which. I've probably annoyed so many Lord of the Rings fans. It's not Lord of the Rings, is it? I'm just going to shut up. <laughs> oh my god. I have probably angered so many people now. <laughs> oh no. I'm just expecting a flame war in the comment now. I mean like, you stupid man. You do not, like, do you not realize it's actually this? Like, are you that dumb? Then to that question, I'm not, am I actually that dumb? Yeah. <laughs> god, anyway, I'm just going to stop talking. Alright. But yes, we got um, the cow part 50 now, so, yay. Um, I can't remember exactly what this gives, but if I remember correctly, it's something quite cool. So, yeah. I feel like it's going to be something cool anyway, because, like, why wouldn't it be? It's a fifth. It's the 50th cube. I'm pretty sure that's the final of the cubes. Like, not the ones we've collected, but we've still got loads of them, but it's the fifth if final cube. I think there's only fa 50, 50 of them in the game. So yeah, alright, I'm stuck in here. Ugh, I'm sticking it and stuck in the water. Like, they need to invent a like part where I can just jump out of water. Just saying. My controlling is so bad today. I don't know what's going on. Alright. 
Here we are at this place. Alright. Let's talk to the Mumbo. Alright, let's see. What have we got? What have we got? Large engine. Large fuel. Large propeller. Send we. Ooh, that's not bad. Getting a large Getting large repellers, large fuels, and large engines? That's not bad at all. That is actually really good. That was a good crate. Wow. Okay, then. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is I want to go get ourselves another one of the secret jiggies. Um, you know, from the secret jig of anything. Because now that we actually have this vehicle part, we can now um, unlock it. So, yeah, I was going to do like a video guide on showing all five locations of them, but I thought. Eh, it's kind of not necessary, I mean, because it's like, I don't know, it's, I just don't find it necessary, because I'd be like, right, you come over here, you know, eh, it's not not necessary. I feel like I'll be making a video for the sake of it, so yeah, alright. So in here, there's actually both a cube and there is a jiggy. Uh, the cube is in a separate pathway, but I can't remember, the pathway is in here somewhere. Oh, yeah, that's it, there was two tunnels. That were it. Alright, let's see. We'll go for this one first. Um, I can't remember which one this is. Honestly, I don't remember mainly because... Ah, oh, jeez. Dark. It's dark. Okay, here we go. <laughs> it's dark because of the no lighting. Okay, so there's a stop and swap egg, but I ain't got Banjo can do it anymore, so... Yeah, alright. What we do get is... Wait. Wait, what? No. That's not what it's supposed to be. Uh, oh, this is the cube pathway. Oh, yeah. I remember now. Okay. No need to keep yelling at me in the comments, guys. I know I'm not the smartest in the world. And I know I'm not the sharpest of tools. Oh, whatever. I feel like most days I just need to learn to stop talking. I generally do. All right. <laughs> So, we'll get this, and then I'm thinking we'll end the episode off. I know it's been a short one, but yeah. Alright. I forgot. I forgot. Oh, wait, never mind. I thought it was something else. Alright, never mind. I swear there was a Jiggy here, though. Maybe it's another location I'm thinking of. Uh, my brain is scrambled egg tonight. Yeah. I'm thinking next episode though we'll go to the low box 720 because it's been a while since we've been there. All right, let's go and talk to the mo. What we got? Grenade gun, spoilers, spot three. Ooh, ooh, it's the rust bin. Oh. <laughs> Oh, I know exactly what we're going to do with this. <laughs> I know exactly what we are going to use this for. <laughs> if you did not watch the one hour episode that came out on Friday, then you're going to be confused, but if you did watch it, <laughs> I know what we're going to do. Thank you for watching, I hope you've enjoyed. If you did and you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Feeling real damn press the like button. Other than that, I'm going to end it. <laughs> I can't wait for the next time. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye for now. <laughs>